question that we've been asked is how do I connect my uh, uh, ULA to um, uh, my bank? To do that, what we can do is you can click on the accounts panel, action, administrator and connect your bank. Uh, you only do this once. So in this case, I have a pool trust account, which is basically a TD account. Uh, my general account, I'm going to make it like an uh, RBC account and I can make this uh, credit card account like, um, you know, let's make it, uh, I'll just make it like a, a Canadian Tire or something like that. So let's go with the Canadian Tire one first. So I'll just click here and click on the agree and then I can search here. I can just say Tire and there you go, Canadian Tire. They submit. And then what it'll do is it'll bring out all the accounts that I have with Canadian Tire. In this case, I'm going to go with the credit card. Next, I'm going to go for my pool trust account, which is TD. So I can click here again on this one. It'll bring up the panel, agree. So this was TD. So you can go and find here TD Canada Trust. And then in this case, let me choose uh, uh, like a savings account, right? And finally, for my uh, uh, general bank, which is RBC, um, remember that you can always, um, uh, you know, choose from the list that is here. RBC is right here. Or if you don't find it, you can even, uh, for example, if it's like a Windsor Credit Union, here you go. You can find. You can just search and find. In this case, I wanted to go for the RBC. I'll enter my passcode for that, and I'll hit the submit button. Right. Once you have successfully logged in, you will pick what you want. So in this case, RBC, I'm going with my checking, TD, I'm going with my savings, and Canadian Tire, I'm going with my credit card. And so those are two general accounts and one trust account, I'll hit the submit button. That's all you need to do, and it's a one-time thing to actually set up bank. Once you do that, there are several panels where you can use bank statements. For example, you can do import bank statements where you can choose what kind of bank it is and then take it from there, right? And then you can hit connect button or even download a bank statement, right? Similarly, uh, under reconciliation, you could actually now choose the bank that you want to, uh, uh, you know, reconcile with and you can actually download the bank statement as you're doing reconciliation. Like you can just hit that and that should bring you up and say, hey, this is all the transactions that you have and this is your bank balance and it'll show you all that stuff. Right. Last but not least, you can do this even in your import on your matter where you can just click on the import button and you can now choose a pool trust account and connect to it and it will bring in all the imports like, you know, and it'll, you can now say, hey, this twenty five dollar, uh, you know, fee that I paid was it like a disbursement and you can take an action like you can say, hey, this is a disbursement and then it will immediately fill up everything for you and you can actually import a bank statement straight into your matter so to summarize under the action button under administrator you need to connect your banks so you have three banks one trust and two general you will click on this home icon and you will do it once once you finish that you'll never come back here you can use it under your import bank statement or you can do under your reconciliation to pull out uh, the bank statement we believe that this feature will be extremely useful for you and your assistants and your bookkeepers. They don't have to now log in into the bank to see stuff, right? Like, you know, things in ULA and bank can be very easily measured and managed. So make sure that you use the feature by clicking on the connect, connect your three banks and then uh, off you go.